So what we have here is a Seiko Alba, AKA or AKA. Uh, the model number I believe is uh, W620, 620. And this apparently was manufactured or, or released on 1996. So quite a long time ago, actually 24 years. And I had it since 2003. I bought it from eBay for a very cheap price. I think it was probably 20 or 30 uh, British pounds at the time. And it's still in good condition other than the button in the central, which we'll, we will go through in a minute. So what it has here on the left top button, there's the adjust, which you have to press two or three to be able to reset some of the functions on the mode there's time there's this lap timing on this first one pace button i have i have no idea how that works uh, there's also the timer so you could re remind yourself to for this to ring and it's a typical beep 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 you know very old days i'm sure you know about these beep sounds if you have an old watch and also lastly uh, the alarm and one of the things I really like about it is that this the screen apparently is 38 mil or the whole thing is 38 mil. I think it's the whole thing is 38 mil and a tiny screen, but still stylish actually. It has the black bezel with a red tint a screen as well, where you have another option to get a green tint as well. But the whole point I'm making this video is because I haven't actually seen anyone reviewing this watch. And I recently went to a locksmith to change the, uh, the battery and it's now working fine. The battery lasted for a very long time actually, probably at least five or six years. And then I left it, I neglected it. And then recently I just looked back on it. I actually compared it with my other watches and <laughs> I mean, stylish wise, it still looks really nice. I think it's probably because of my wrist size. It goes really well and it's very comfortable as well. Seiko obviously is a Japanese um, company and um, I know Japanese, they actually come up with a really good craftsmanship and no doubt I still love this watch. Now many of you would recommend me to get the class Casio uh, classic design. I never bought that myself and I'm sure it's really good but I I am pretty sure comparing to that this uh, Seiko is more stylish and it's more classy feel and more up-to-date kind of feel and I can guarantee you I've been using this for a very long time and it's still here and I still like to wear it time and time. The only thing the downfall is as you know I have used it for a very long time the central button right below the screen is what we call a light button so display when, when you're in the dark and you want to check your time you press this and it, the green tint will pop up to let you know what time it is so let's say if you're in the middle of the light you're wearing this or you're in the middle of the woods where there's no light at all or in darkness you press this and you'll see a green display showing you the time um, and um, yeah that's pretty much it but overall the reason I'm making this video is I know I bought it uh, back in 2003 17 years ago and um, I see some of the products actually that because this is no longer manufactured some people are actually selling it for 212 British pounds I, I, I just want to find out if there's any experts out there what sort of value you want to put in for this watch and if whether you're interested to buy this um, unfortunately there's a lot of scratches on the wrist stainless wrist and also the display is not unfortunately a sapphire glass so there's quite a lot of dent but the reason for it obviously is that I've been wearing this for a very long time before I start to buy all these fancy gadgets you see and it, it was during the time when I commute to London almost every day so very reliable watch unfortunately you can't get this particular watch but I'm sure you could get a more trendier more up to date but overall one of the main reason again is because no one actually reviewed this on YouTube I just wanted to contribute the information source on that side but second of all if there's any expert out there how much would you value for a condition like this watch I would not be surprised if someone says one or two dollars but then that would be a good excuse for me to keep it but if it's several uh, let's say near 200 pounds or more than that I might consider selling it so if you can let me know your thoughts that'll be great but anyway this is the Seiko Alba 
AKA or AKA W620 model that was apparently released on back in 1996. So I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching it. I hope you have a fantastic day. All the best. Bye-bye.